All right, what's up guys? Uh, long time no see, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just gonna go ahead and pair a Bluetooth keyboard with a PlayStation 4. I uh, had a hard time online figuring out whether or not or which keyboard in particular works via Bluetooth with the PlayStation. There's a lot of people talking about blue uh, keyboards work, but they're using the, the universal dongle, which occupies the USB port, and didn't really want to do that. Just wanted to do uh, just straight Bluetooth so I can leave my ports open and available for other accessories like my steering wheel and a USB headset. So um, again, this is uh, this video is all about connecting a Bluetooth keyboard to PlayStation and then the settings for that. So let's go ahead and just get started. Got this keyboard here, the K480. It's a Logitech from Best Buy for 20 bucks. Uh, it's part of a Black Friday deal, so um, jump on that if you can. Otherwise, I think it goes on sale intermittently different times. But um, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna show you the screen, the keyboard, and things like that, and we'll get going. Okay, so now we're looking at the PlayStation screen. I've got the keyboard here in front of us. And this one is a multi-device sort of keyboard, so you can pair it with uh, Mac or Windows uh, or tablets and that kind of thing. Uh, the most important part about this is there's uh, two buttons up here in the right corner. I know you can't see them in the video. Actually, let's see if we can focus this real quick on the keyboard. So right here, you've got a PC button, and then right here, you've got a Mac OS, sort of iOS button. What we wanna do is just hold that button down for PC until the blue light comes on. And actually we need to hold it until it starts fast blinking. So now that's in pairing mode. And then we'll go ahead and focus on the TV screen so you can get a better look at the, the actual menu. All right, so now that we're blinking, you wanna go into settings. So in the PS4 menu, just go ahead and click on settings. And then from there, you wanna go into devices. And then under devices, you'll see Bluetooth devices. So go ahead and click on that. And then from here, what we have to wait for is it for it to show up. And you can see there, keyboard K480. You're gonna go ahead and select that. And then it's gonna tell you to wait. And then what you can have to do here is enter a code or your pass key. So uh, the numbers there on the board, this is 622801. And then just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. And there you go. So now you've got the uh, Logitech K480 uh, paired via Bluetooth to the PlayStation 4. Again, that's under uh, settings and then devices and then Bluetooth devices. And like I said, just make sure you click the PC button, put it into pairing mode, enter the passcode, hit return, and you should now be able to navigate PlayStation menus with the keyboard. So uh, you could do, you know, you can change settings, you can um, type, that kind of stuff. You can navigate with arrow keys um, and do all that good stuff. So if you found that helpful and if you were trying to figure out, you know, which keyboard is the best for PlayStation, which one works via Bluetooth, not the dongle, uh, the K480 is perfect for that. I had problems with my other Logitech keyboard. Uh, it didn't work very well. I just actually said it's not compatible completely. Um, this one was 20 bucks. Uh, and it's going to be super useful for all the uh, streaming stuff that I plan to do specifically for uh, Gran Turismo. So if you're into Gran Turismo and racing, I just picked up a wheel getting into that and should be spending a lot more time here uh, on the channel producing gaming type videos and streaming setup stuff. So if that was helpful, like the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.